I'm here with Steve Marks with uh, Skyline, and you know Skyline has the distinction and should be proud of the fact that uh, several years ago, uh, U.S. SOCOM had over 25 different 3D viewers, and in an effort to cut down on overhead and complexity, they uh, had a uh, competition basically and narrowed it down to two 3D viewers, and Skyline was one of the two. So um, I'm going to turn the mic over to Steve, and he's going to tell us about both the 3D viewer and their photo mesh system for creating uh, 3D models uh, from imagery. Steve? Art, thank you for the introduction. I appreciate it. Um, as Art mentioned, I want to describe to you our latest capability from Skyline called Photo Mesh. It's a capability that takes aerial oblique photographs and automatically creates fully textured 3D models from the photographs themselves. So there's no man in the loop, no manual processing. It is completely done by the software itself. So it's very quick, very capable. And again, there's no need to have any manual processing in the loop. In this case, uh, PhotoMesh is extremely optimized for the cloud. So we can use parallel processing to quickly process 3D models for uh, the end user, whether it's the warfighter, commercial clients. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter who the end user is in this case. Um, and what's great about it is it's fully textured from the images themselves. So it's a completely realistic 3D model. And not only does it pick up buildings, gets under the roof line so you can see windows, it also picks up trees, vehicles, fire hydrants, light poles, all the features that are very important for the warfighter, any type of local or regional government, E911 services. It's a very capable data set. This data set can also be loaded into Terra Explorer, which is our 3D front end interface, which is what you're seeing here. It allows you to do multiple types of measurements, 3D view shed, line of sight. You can bring in live feeds, GPS tracks, um, video on terrain. So if you have a UAV in the area that's assessing damage or any sort of things like that for disaster relief, we can drape the terrain in its correct location on the Earth's surface. We can also handle any type of OGC compliant data, uh, imagery, elevation, 3D models, so we can re in its native format as well. So there's no need to have any type of uh, reproduction of the data. It can come directly into the client in its native format. Any questions? Can you show us some uh, measurements that you can do on that imagery? Absolutely. So these measurements really come into play for our, uh, our defense customers. The 3D view shed in the line of sight is very important for determining sniper positions where you can set yours up um, overwatch, we can determine an infill, exfill routes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the 3D view shed analysis. It's instantaneous, on the fly. You can uh, change the field of view. You can do 360. You can also include multiple 3D view sheds in the same scene as well. So again, it gives you the idea to figure out your overwatch positions, where the enemy may place theirs. You can also do reverse engineering, of course, of overwatch positions. We also have line of sight analysis tools, similar to 3D view shed, but it's more pointed directly towards uh, an observer. So multiple line of sight. And what's very important to notice is that this is all done on the fly rapidly. So if you need an answer quickly, you can just draw your line of sight. It becomes an object over here in the project tree, which allows it to be selectable and turn it on and off. And again, you can have multiple line of sights throughout the entire scene. Um, we also have shadow query. So this is very important. This is also, this is also plugged into uh, the real sun time. So it takes your, takes your uh, calendar time on your computer, and it'll show you where the, the sun angle is at that specific time. And if you use the time slider, you can figure out where the time and where the shadows will be at that specific time. So at 6 p.m. here in Orlando, Florida, that's what the shadows will look like. If you need to advance the time to a week from now, if you have a mission that's coming up, you can see what the sun angle is going to be at that particular time and date as well. So it's a very flexible tool. Let's see if there's other ones. Of the 3D view shed? So we take, they're, they're extremely accurate. We take the accuracy of the GPS that's on board the uh, aircraft. So we uh, also, uh, we take the native resolution, so if we have five centimeter input imagery, we're gonna have a five centimeter output 3D model. So we don't decimate, there's no resolution loss, and that's why you can see how realistic this particular scene looks. You can see the SunTrust building, and again, this is very nice because you get below the roofline information. 
So you can see windows, you can see under awnings. It's a true 4D product. You can see under overpasses, bridges, et cetera. So it gives you a very realistic line of sight analysis and a 3D view shed analysis. How does rooftop So very simple, just like uh, vertical horizontal measurements. Um, we have a distance measurement here, horizontal. We can pick this side of the building, pick down at mensurates as well to this specific spot. So it gives you angle and then distance down. And we can also do different measurements. We have uh, aerial, vertical, horizontal. So that is your straight up horizontal measurement. So you can go building to building, building to ground. Uh, we actually have a development that's coming in our next release that has measurements included with your line of sight. So when you draw a line of sight line, it will also include the measurement in itself as well. So. Other questions? <laughs>